Plasma and serum are two very common terms you hear on a regular basis. Did you know that there are a number of differences between the two? Both plasma and serum are important parts of blood. The blood comprises of plasma, serum, white blood cells, cells that fight foreign bodies, and red blood cells, cells that carry oxygen. The main difference between plasma and serum lies in their clotting factors. A substance called fibrinogen is essential in blood clotting. The blood plasma contains this fibrinogen. Basically, when serum and plasma are separated from the blood, plasma still retains the fibrinogen that helps in clotting, while serum is that part of the blood that remains after this fibrinogen is removed. Blood serum is mostly water that is dissolved with proteins, hormones, minerals and carbon dioxide. It is a very important source of electrolytes. Now let's discuss difference between serum and plasma. Serum is an amber-colored, protein-rich liquid, which separates when blood coagulates. Plasma is a straw-colored, liquid component of blood in which blood cells are suspended. Serum is the part of the blood which does not contain blood cells and clotting factors. Plasma contains serum and clotting factors. No anticoagulants are required for the separation of serum from blood. Anticoagulants are required for the separation of plasma from blood. The volume of serum is less than that of plasma. Plasma takes 55% of total volume of blood. Serum contains 90% of water. While plasma contains 92 to 95 percent of water, serum can be stored at 2 to 6 degrees centigrade for several days. After preservation by adding anticoagulants, frozen plasma can be stored up to one year at minus 18 degrees centigrade. Serum is used for enzyme tests and hormone tests. While plasma transfusion is done for trauma patients and patients with severe liver diseases. So, that's all about the difference between serum and plasma. If we conclude our topic. Serum and plasma, both are the derivatives of blood. Plasma is the liquid portion of the blood in which the blood cells are suspended. It is a protein-rich liquid. While, serum is the liquid portion which is left after blood coagulation. Hence, serum lacks proteins which are involved in blood coagulation, like fibrinogen. Both serum and plasma have medical uses. However, the main difference between serum and plasma is in the differential isolation processes of both of derivatives. Hope you like this video. For more videos about common medical difference, keep sharing and keep supporting. Thank you.